Hello everyone. We finally have paper pumpkin in the house. I thought this thing was never going to arrive, you guys. <laughs> we're going to get to this in just a second. Um, this is one of the latest paper pumpkins I've ever got. I know there were some shipping delays with Stampin' Up! And um, that was part of the problem, but I think the post office took their sweet time with this month's. Um, before we we jump into Paper Pumpkin, just a couple of really quick reminders because we are reaching the deadlines on a couple of things. The join offer to join my team to become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is ending on June 30th as this Friday. So if you have not taken advantage of this or you have a long wish list and you want to take advantage of this, don't forget this ends on Friday. So you want if you want to get a discount on your purchases, this is a great special. You get the starter kit, which is $99, and you get to choose $155 in product, which is just a phenomenal deal. And you get to choose those products, so whatever you want, you can put in the starter kit. So really phenomenal deal, plus you get a discount on, on all your future purchases. And um, you get to attend special demonstrator-only events, like the one I, I did over the weekend. And I posted some of these pictures, but look at how fun these cards are. So we made these at a special demonstrator event. Uh, my daughter made this one with me, so I only have one of those. Otherwise, I'd have two as well. But um, it was really fun and got to see a sneak peek of a bunch of new products coming. So those are just some of the little extra perks that you get as part of being a demonstrator. So if you want to take advantage of that, make sure you do that. The last day that you get that starter kit special is June 30th. Um, also ending on June 30th is our designer series paper sale. If you have not yet stocked up on your designer series paper, do so by June 30th. It is 15% off. That's a pretty good savings for some gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And if you love today's kit, you might want to get this paper, the countryside in, if you love today's paper pumpkin kit, because today's paper pumpkin kit coordinates, let me open up that spread. It's going to coordinate with this, um, countryside in suite. So, Lots of amazing products that, that DSP is on here. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so if you love that, you might want to get some of that DSP while it's on sale. If you are shopping, please head to my online store. Use this host code. This will also expire on June 30th. I'll have a brand new host code on July 1st for anybody that is shopping. All right, Paper Pumpkin, this is the welcome in kit. And we are going to just jump right in. So I haven't even opened it. I peeked just to look at the ink spot, which is a Knight of Navy. And so I pulled out my Knight of Navy ink pad. So I'll put my ink spot aside. The stamp set, let me get some, something to put behind here. The stamp set is super cute. I, now I've seen already a ton of things with this because again, it took me so long to get mine. So um, it's, but it says, welcome. Thank you for your hospitality, your invited friend. And um, it has these really beautiful images. Now there is a coordinating die set and I don't know if they have it on here. I don't know if they talk about it. This is that little die there, the flower die. I think that comes with it. But there is a coordinating die set, which will also cut out this little vase, this flower, and I think it has one more die. I can't remember. But um, you can get that if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. That is in my online store. Um, when you filter your products, go to the side and like shop by Paper Pumpkin, and then go to Past Kits and More, and it should pull up. I did just check like five minutes ago to make sure it was still available because I didn't want to give you bad information and it is still available that little die set so if you if you love this one and you want some coordinating dies to go with it you can get that and then july's paper pumpkin kit is going to be summer themed um, beach themed die cuts so cute i think this just this little sneak peek is super cute so i can't wait for july so subscribe to july's kit if you want to try out paper pumpkin there is a link in the in the video description all right let's get rid of our or tissue paper. Okay. So cute. Okay. Here's the cards. And I think these cards are so fun. They're so pretty. Um, I just wish I had my <laughs> earlier. Okay. We're not going to harp about it anymore. It's here now. Whatever. Um, if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber of mine, I will be getting you out a PDF with some alternate projects with, to use with your kit. Um, that might take me a little bit extra time. I have a lot going on in the next week or two so um I might be a little bit delayed in that but it will come I promise <laughs> if you are a subscriber of mine okay so it looks like we get a little roll of tear and tape which is awesome I always love some tear and tape we have oh, looks like we get two dimensionals in here oh this is good okay so we get lots of dimensionals but these are not your um the hexagonal shapes these are stripey dimensionals which is so fun I like I love these so the long strips, short strips, 
I'm so excited and we've only gotten to the adhesive little um, adhesive dots which are always good beautiful envelopes which coordinate perfectly with our DSP this exact pattern is in that DSP so if you love these if you love the envelopes um, consider that DSP it's great DSP all right I'm going to you know I gotta pull up my instructions so we know what we're doing I'm gonna put off to the side up here and I think probably we're just going to need one. So we're going to need this one. We're going to need this vase. And it looks like these two. All right. Okay, so that is, there's three of those because you'll be making three of each card. So there's three of those. So let's grab one of our card bases, this one. So pretty again, if you love that one, that is DSP. Let me move these. So you can get enough for two more. Here is one of these. And this is fun. So you're going to have an extra one of these because there are four of these. I don't know why I popped them all out, but there are four of these. This is going to be for one of our cards, but you get an extra one because you are only making three of each card. So bonus for you. We're going to keep one of those out. Oh my gosh, look how cute. So this pattern um, with the little foxes, this is actually in the DSP, but it's a blue pattern. So this is really fun to see them like a Calypso coral pattern. So this is one of my favorite patterns in that DSP too with those little foxes. So really fun. Oh wait, this one goes with this one. This one goes over here. All right, and then we have, we have even more die cuts. You're gonna get lots of bonuses this time. This one is gonna go here. Looks like we're going to need one of these for here. And hello, friend. This goes here. Oh, and it looks like you got to get this one too. This little border piece. So pop this one out from the inside. Save all those pieces. So you're going to use those again. We're going to need that little border piece. Okay. I think I can get rid of this piece. Hold on. And you have more of those. This is a great paper pumpkin. Get so much in this one. All right. Then another card base. This is like a Knight of Navy card base. And there's still more. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So these are the rest of our pieces. So this one we're going to need for this card. This one we're going to need for this card. And this one you're going to need for that card. All right, that's it. We're going to put everything aside. Now there are full instructions on the inside. If you actually open up your kit, there are full instructions and it tells you all the pieces that you need for each one. And then it'll tell you how to assemble each one. So full color instructions. And then on the back, of course, you always have what's in your kit and then a couple alternate projects, project ideas. So always keep those instructions. And I know they kind of get hidden because they're under that cardboard, but keep those instructions. They're very important. Okay, we're just gonna start with this one. So let's move this one in. I'm gonna grab a bone folder and burnish that card base. So pretty. Now, there is, I think there is a top and a bottom to this. So make sure that your flowers are pointed, are going up. So the petals are up, not down. If you assemble it this way, your petals are gonna be down. So. I don't know. I would notice, I think. Other people might not notice. I think I would notice. Okay, let's do... Now, did they stamp that little vase? Oh, they did. And I think I need another one of those vases. So, did they stamp it? Now I'm confused. <laughs> They're stamping that one. Okay, I see. One of my vases from over here goes to this one. I think. Are these different? Look at me. I have to like talk myself through this. I don't think they're different, but I think one of them will go over here and then another one we'll use over there. I think. We'll get to that one when we get to that one. I think this is right. <laughs> All right. Let's stamp our greeting. Thank you for your hospitality. Now, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber for... Oops. Your paper pumpkin subscriber, and this is your first kit, you actually will get a block in your very first paper pumpkin kit. You won't get one in every kit, but you will get one in your very first kit. So you will be set for success every time. So that just goes right on the bottom of that one. And our Knight of Navy, and I'm going to close this up. I'm going to check those instructions one more time. I just want to make sure I get the right pieces. So, yes, yeah, so we have one of those. 
and then this one has a blank one. Okay. Yes, we're on track, people. All right, so this is going to go on with a dimensional. Well, I'm putting it on with a dimensional. So I'm going to use one of these smaller ones. I'll just stick that on there, fits perfectly. This will go on here. Like that and I'm gonna grab my stamp and seal plus I think that they probably used the tear and tape for for these longer pieces but um, I'm gonna use my stamp and seal plus but if you if you don't have another adhesive you can use the the tear and tape that I mean you get everything you need in a kit so so go ahead and use that tear and tape all right so fun right down the middle kind of close enough and then the back of this will put some, some adhesive on it. I'm just going to go with two of these. Now they probably have these like specifically measured to use for, <laughs> for pieces. So um, again, make sure to read your instructions. And there is a paper pumpkin video from Stampin' Up! that shows exactly how to put these together. And there is a QR code for that on the back of your instructions too. So you can scan that right here and that will take you to... Um, detailed instructions in a video from Stampin' Up! that tells you how to do that. Isn't that cute? All right, final touch. We just have these little gems. And I'm just going to use my scissors. You can grab your take your pick tool or whatever you use. This is a really pretty card and it's very simple, but it's very, I think, very elegant. Very beautiful. So that is card number one. Really pretty. So fun. Okay. Let's move on to card number two. I think this one is my favorite, though. I think I love this one the most. So let's fold and burnish on our card base. Make sure to check the background on this one, too, because you definitely will notice if those foxes are upside down. So check out those cute little foxes. So just make sure that you make sure that is right side up when we start assembling our card. Now, I did watch the, the paper pumpkin video, but of course I don't remember anything with it. But I do remember that they used all those little strips to um, add this on. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put like the long ones on this side to pop up the frame. And then I'm just going to put the shorter ones on all of those little extras. Right here. And right here. You probably could do them over here. I'm not sure you need to. Let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. Because that will just further secure our frame. It will be much better. All right, now I will be live again tomorrow at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. I will be live on my business page. I have a really cute project to share with you, so make sure you join me then. So set your alarms, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. So whatever that is in in your market. All right, and the final one, and then this is going to go right on here. Now, lining this up is going to be the hardest part, but just take your time, line up one side, and oh, I got that way off. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, I'm going to start right on the top up here. Okay, and work your way down, just hit those corners. We'll go all the way around, just like that. Perfect. Isn't that fun? And you get that. A beautiful like framed look by putting those dimensionals on all the sides it's going to be nice and secure it's going to stand up very nicely okay all right i am going to put this on you know and i think i will use some tear and tape so this is our green so this one doesn't have any stamping at least none that i can see so a little bit of tear and tape on the back of our greeting and this is going to go right onto our little pot right here Oh, we have to stamp our pot. Hello. Of course they're stamping. Okay, I'm going to grab a piece of scratch paper because I do not trust myself to, to get on that evenly. So, just to protect my surface, just in case, let's grab some scratch paper so we have our stamp. Now, this is a bigger stamp, so... Um, if you want to test this a couple of times on your scratch paper, do that. If it, you need a little bit more, more padding or cushion, you can put your stamp and pierce mat or a catalog or some fun foam underneath. Just to make sure that you're getting a nice solid impression. 
I think that's good. Okay. And you know what? I'm going to grab my stamp and pierce mat anyway. I know I said I was going to use this scrap paper, but the problem is it's white on white. And I'm not sure that I can see that. So <laughs> we're going to just do this. Okay. Did you get it all on? Pretty good. I got a little bit on my mat, but that's okay. That mat has seen ink before, so it's not a big deal. Okay. And let's see. Pull this off carefully. Perfect. Oh, perfect. And I love that the stamp is just slightly bigger than that than that die cut, so you don't have a white edge at all. So I think that's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, let me put that aside. Let's close this up. I already have ink on my hands, so I'm going to close it up. All right, I'm going to put my sketch paper away. This is going to go on with dimensionals. Of course, I'm going to grab one of these, and I'll stick this on. There we go. Oops. Just like that. And our little hello friend greeting will go right across the, the pot there. I hate to cover up that pot. It's so pretty. Beautiful, right? All right, I'm going to put this on with my stamp and seal. Okay. This will go right in the middle of our card. I hate covering up those foxes, but they're so cute. All right, and finishing touch, we just need some of these, those little Knight of Navy gems. Do a few in here, one here, and then they did one down here. So that is card number two. So beautiful. I think this one is my favorite. I really like this one. This is a great little kit. I really like this kit a lot. All right, now, this kit. I do need another one of those these little extra pots here. I need one of those. And I think that's all of our pieces. So go ahead and burnish on your, on your score line for your card base. This one's going to go this way. So set that aside. We'll do all of our stamping. So we have this pot's going to go there. This one's going to go there. Our little banner piece is going to go across the top. And then we are going to stamp this one and our greeting. So let's get out our stamps. So we are going to use, looks like they're going to use this one to stamp on the, the little pot and then welcome. But I think, yeah, I'll stick with welcome. Okay. Let me grab some more blocks here. Welcome. And I need a bigger block for this one. Okay. This one I will need my scratch paper because we're going to go across the, the top of this. So open up your ink pad and I'm ink this up and we're just going to stamp this across the, like the rounded part of the, of the flower pot. So just like that. Beautiful. All right, stick that stamp aside and then we have our greeting. We are just going to stamp welcome in the center of, just like that. All right, that's all the stamping for this one. Let's put that aside. Oh my goodness, I have ink everywhere. There are some colors that, that just kind of like attract. Night of Navy is normally not one of them. Um, early Espresso is one. I hardly ever use Early Espresso because I can never walk away from that without being covered in ink. Um, Cherry Cobbler is another one. I don't know what it is with those two colors. Do you guys have those colors of ink that just, I don't know what it is. I get so covered in them. I'm not sure what it is. All right, so dimensionals on all of those little pots and I, I think we're gonna put this down first. I'm gonna set those aside, they're already sticky. So this is pretty thin. So I'm gonna use some of my tear and tape just right in the middle instead of having to worry about getting that stamp and seal lined up on it. Now, I don't know if they pop this up. It's very possible they might have popped this up, but I'm going to glue it down flat. Just try to center that, just right above that, that little line there. And I'm going to curve my little, my little banner edges up a little bit. I think that's gonna give it some extra dimension. And then this one I'm gonna put down flat too because it looks like the pot is kind of overlapping it. 
So I'm going to put this one down flat too. That just goes right in the middle of that banner. And then we can stick our, our little pots on. So this one's going to go in the middle. I think I put my thing up too high, so that's okay. That's okay. Nobody's going to see theirs, right? This one is going to go behind there, and this one is going to go just like that. So fun. Not really centered, though. Let me kind of scoot this over just a little bit. Okay, and this one I want to scoot over just a tiny bit, too. That way they're a little bit more centered on there. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can stick this onto our card base and finish it up with those little dots. Okay. Little dimensionals to the side. All right, here we go. Just gonna, and if you want to jazz up the background on this too, I think that you could stamp the background. I don't think they did that. I never looked at the instructions, but um, you could definitely jazz up the background by stamping it a little bit. They didn't do that, but you could absolutely do that. I think that would be a welcome addition on here. Okay. Some little dots on here. One here. And let's see. I'm going to go one here and then we'll do another one. I think right here. Okay. That is card number three. Another winner, I think. I think these are so pretty. And you all, you have this little flower in here too. You can always stamp this flower in a coordinating color, maybe clips of coral or something, and put those coming out of those those flower pots too. I think that'd be a really, really pretty addition. All right, so here are the three cards from this month's kit. Again, Paper Pumpkin is so great. It's great for beginners. It's great for traveling. It's great for just crafting without having to plan anything. So if you love Paper Pumpkin, make sure that you subscribe. If you love Summertime, make sure you subscribe. The July kit's going to be summer themed, so make sure you get on that. Um, there are links in my video description to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. If you have any questions, please let me know. Join me tomorrow on my business group. We are going to be making this cute little box. Um, I'll be live at 11 a.m. Mountain Time over on my business group, so you can join me there. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.